I'm sure by now most of us have seen the new Corvette Stingray and come up with our own thoughts and opinions about the car, but not many of us have had the chance to drive one. So when we got the chance, we had to ask, what were Chevrolet's goals in terms of handling when engineering this new car? We're always looking to improve the performance, track performance, street performance. We didn't have a specific goal in mind, like a specific Nürburgring time or anything like that you're talking about. Uh, Traditionally, we want to expand the performance envelope, but I think on this car, we wanted to make that envelope a little more accessible. Uh, so not just pro-level drivers could drive the car at the limit, but everyday drivers could drive it at the limit. And it would be a quick learn, quick study on a track to get up to speed and feel like the car's comfortable even at the limit. So we've been refining our short long arm suspension that you find on race cars around the world for decades, basically generations of Corvette. That foundation hasn't really changed. But the fundamentals about the way we execute have changed a lot. So for example, where the control arms attach to the body, we have massively stiff attachment points where the metal is an inch thick, even more uh, in place, places, and then ribs behind that uh, to make it very locally stiff. Uh, the control arms themselves are much stiffer, so we got uh, hollow lower control arms. New technology wasn't available last time we did a new Corvette. Uh, so in detail, it's a refinement of those things that help make the car overall feel more precise and uh, easier to drive at the limit. We're After flying around in the Stingray, I must say that this car does make you feel like a race driver, even though, like me, you may not be one. But the fact that this car will be used by some customers as a race car really played a large part in the layout of the interior. Yeah, actually when we started the design process, we took the design team out uh, to Milford. Actually, we all drove uh, C6s around the course there. And it was, a, it was a real learning experience for us, you know, getting to be in that environment with a car that's that powerful and that capable. And it really changes your perspective on how you design an interior because you realize what a high stress working environment this can be when you're really using the car to its full performance potential. Um, and you know, we, we drove the cars ourselves, but we also got driven around by uh, instructors uh, who, and that was actually even better because they can really extract the full performance out of the car. So we're in the passenger seat with the instructor taking us around and, and we're just getting thrown around and tossed around everywhere. And so after that, when we got back to the studio, we all realized, you know, we got to figure some way around this. So we all started designing handles and things to grab onto inside the car. Uh, so now the, you, know, you can see in the final design, the kind of sweeping cockpit shape comes over to the passenger side and there's a grab handle there to help kind of stabilize you in the car. And of course the seats are a huge element of that too, getting the, getting the stiff supportive seats to help hold you in place. Our test 2014 Corvette Stingray with the Z51 package came in at just under $72,000 and Chevrolet says that it's still on track for the cars to hit dealer showrooms later this year.